let's get on to the play. So Tanner Beebe taking on the Yankees here, and his sample size against this team is rather small. It's only 17 at-bats against, but they have crushed him in those 17 at-bats against. He has a 353 average against with a 1,038 OPS against. And if you take a look at how he's been pitching lately, uh he's not really giving up a lot of runs but he is giving up quite a few hits as a matter of fact including the postseason he's given up four or more hits in six straight starts uh so if you look at his prop bets here against the yankees i saw that his hits prop was three and a half seems really low to me i think the yankees get him for at least four or five hits the one fear in the playoffs is that a pitcher gets yanked early uh but in his last few postseason games, he's thrown 76 and 64, uh, gone four innings or more. Uh, I think the Yankees can at least get four hits against him in four innings. So uh, Tanner Beebe, over three and a half hits allowed is my first play for the show. Yeah, and Brandon, we're going to torch talk Dodgers Mets game three, which is tomorrow in a moment with you. But uh, as a former MLB scout, I'd love talking baseball with you, especially come playoffs. Um, just a general question for you. How differently do you approach these playoff games from a handicapping standpoint than you do maybe the regular season? The first thing right off the bat is pitchers get pulled very early. Uh, but if you look at their last year's performance in the postseason, you can kind of get a gauge. If they're with the same team, you can get a gauge of how the manager treats them. Like uh, Wheeler, when he was in the playoffs, uh, they leave him in past seven innings, even in the playoffs. But a lot of these pitchers like BB uh, and a couple others, they get yanked pretty early. And uh, Bueller's another one who's coming up uh, tomorrow. Uh, he gets he, he 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 gets yanked after five innings consistently in the playoffs. So uh, if you get an outs prop over five innings for him, he'll probably go under five uh, under. Uh, he'll probably go five innings and then come out. So if you get a 15 and a half there, he'll probably go under. Uh, I'm not sure if that number's out yet. But if you look at how pitchers are treated in the postseason generally by their same team, you can get a good gauge on how it is. 